So speaking of injuries, 2015, you go to the Pro Bowl. I think at that point, everyone was like, okay, Gary Barnage is legit. It's taken eight years for everyone to realize that. And then it's two years and then and then you're out of the league. I know there was the, the hernia. I know that injuries came into it. What happened with regards to how Cleveland perceived your future there? So when Hugh came in 2016, I was told, hey, we're gonna make you like Tyler Eifert was in Cleveland, which every time in the red zone, they lined him up, gave him an opportunity. Well, my first year in Cleveland with Hugh, I had eight targets in the red zone. I was always blocking in the red zone. I never had the opportunity to run routes in the red zone. Like if you look at my targets and everything like that, it all changed from the previous year to that year. I was I had, I think 130 targets the previous year. And then that year I had 82 targets total. That's not a testament to the way I was. I was still running my routes, getting open and stuff like that. But we also had eight quarterbacks. We had so many different yeah. injuries. We had Terrell Pryor playing quarterback at times. So when you have all that, all those injuries, it's tough to do all that. And then when you're not getting your number called and the game plan, there's not much you can do. And that's where all your fantasy haters come in. Oh, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do this? But go watch the game. I didn't have a ball thrown to me. What am I supposed to do? Did you get a lot of people saying, God, Gary, why didn't you get in the end zone again this week? Did you get a lot of fantasy people on your case yes. on Twitter? What's that like? It's awful. Surely. <laughs> that's sorry, I didn't realize. Threat. Yeah, you're running back performance for the Panthers but in week just, just, of course you did. This is like, I was there. I was, would I know I was those people? Him abuse. <laughs> I wasn't sending them, but you know, everyone was really angry with Gary Barnage in 2016. But what's that like seeing that in your inbox? I don't care what people say. You can say what you want about me. It don't matter. It's not going to bother me. I think the biggest thing for me is it bothers like my little cousins or my right. mom. They see it and it bothers them. I'll tell you the worst one I had. They should have killed you instead of Harambe. So, like, the fact that people were like thinking that that's interesting, but because you didn't win in your fantasy, I didn't get you enough points and you're that upset, grow up. That's my opinion. That's so sad. Are you sure it wasn't your cousin that sent you that? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Fantasy football is another a whole nother level because too many people now, they don't watch the game. Yeah. They only look at what, they're, what their player's doing. If you actually watch the game, you can see why they don't put up the numbers. You, you might run back gets 12 yards. Well, maybe the whole old line's hurt and they couldn't block a soul. What do you expect him to just run over everybody and make everybody miss? That's just not how it works. It's yeah. a team game. Same with quarterback. What if a quarterback has a bad game? What if the receivers drop 12 balls that game and you didn't see it? You just see the quarterback played bad. People are, are getting away from watching the full game and just watching what their players did without knowing any backstory. And I think I had a lot of that in Cleveland because people were like, oh, you, you did this, you didn't do this. If you watch the games, I didn't have the opportunities to. I can only do when, what I have when I have the opportunity. I still was a top 10 tight end that year. I just didn't have the touchdowns that you wanted because I didn't get the opportunities.